Hi pandas! So today's lesson is going to be about working with a partner. Similar to teamwork, but at home we don't usually have lots of teams of people. So you only need one other person. So that could be a brother or sister, mum and dad or anybody else that you live with. Okay, so I'm going to put my panda pet down, he can watch with you guys. Before we do our warm up, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need today. You're going to need your panda spots or your lovely animals that you created. Okay, these are going to be your markers for the warm up and everything else that comes later. You're also going to need a teddy or a ball or something that could be passed backwards and forwards from you to your partner. You're also going to need your panda belt or if you don't have your panda belt, a dressing gown belt like this will do or something else similar. You're also going to need a container thing, so something like a bucket or I've got my laundry basket here, okay, and six objects. So I have six balls, uh, three balls, sorry, and three soft cubes, okay? It really doesn't matter, it could be teddies, balls, anything, but you'll need six of them, okay? So let's get started. So. I'm going to stand on my panda spot here and I'm going to do the warm up for you. So we are going to start off by running on the spot as fast as we can for 10 seconds. Okay, but before we start our warm up, it's really important that we do our bow. So we're going to put one hand up, one hand into a fist and we bow. Ready, go! Without using our hands. Ready? Whoop. 
Good job, pandas. Okay, so I'm going to have a helper come and join me now. And we're going to show you how you can maybe do cat sit-ups, but with your partner. So it's an exercise, but it is something that you usually do in your warm-up. Okay, so Stephen's going to come in now. Can you all say hi, Stephen? Hi, pandas. Okay, so Stephen's going to use this panda spot, and I'm going to use my butterfly, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to pass little Miss Unicorn backwards and forwards to each other, okay? So, we're going to sit down, and we're going to interlock our feet, okay? So, we can do one of each, each side, or we can go in and out, maybe the if the panda goes on the inside and the stronger person puts their legs on the outside so if it's a parent or an older sibling that might help okay then we're going to make sure we're a bit squashed here but hopefully you'll make sure you've got enough room okay and i'm going to go down to the floor and then i'm going to come back up and pass unicorn to stephen and he's going to go down to the floor and we can help each other okay um by holding each other's legs as we go down Stephen, shall we shuffle this way? If you shuffle that way with your back to the camera, that's much better. There we go. Okay? And I'll peer over his shoulder. So I'm going to go all the way down to the floor. And then I'm going to come all oh. Hi, pandas. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own panda spot to use during your exercises. So you will need some paper, something round, a pencil. Get your grown-ups to help because you'll need some scissors and some colours. Other things that you can use if you have them are glue, blue tack and some cardboard or something that's a little bit harder than paper. So first of all we are going to draw around our circle object and make a nice circle. Next, we're going to colour it in. So what colour are our panda spots usually? Panda pet, do you know? That's right, they're red. But we're at home, so I'm going to use my favourite colour, which is purple, and I'm going to colour in my spot. Okay, you can take your time and make sure it's really lovely. Okay. Right, now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need your parents' help because you're going to need to cut it out, okay? So carefully cut all around the outside, okay? Till you have your circle, like this one, okay? So that will be you finished if you don't have those other things. But if you do, what you can do is take your circle and glue it on to your cardboard, Okay, because this way, what might happen if you stand on a piece of paper or if you use it, it might sort of blow away or move or crumple up. So we don't really want that to happen, do we? So if you do have those, make sure you get your parents to help you with the cutting. Then you can put it on your cardboard or mine's just a bre breakfast cereal box. And it just makes it a little bit sturdier. That's it. Do you like it? Thank you. So, if you're feeling creative, you can actually do something else. You don't have to do a circle. I've worked on a little butterfly as well. So, you could do a butterfly, your favourite animal, or you could draw a panda. And you can use that as your panda spot. Now, the blue tack is for when you get started. If, again, ask mummies and daddies, okay? Um, again, just so it doesn't move, you can just place a little bit of blue tack on the bottom when you put it down on the floor when you do your exercises. It might just help to keep it still. Okay, obviously don't do that on carpet. Um, but that's not a necessity. So yeah, so have fun and uh, maybe send us in some pictures of your panda spots or your animals or whatever you use. So, bye. So the next exercise we're going to do is a tug of war. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and place our powder spot in the middle okay and then we're going to see if we can pull our um partner close to the middle so i'm going to have stephen come back in okay now we each have right at the end and we wrap it round once 
you see that? Stephen's cheating. Okay, and we lunge forwards, okay, and we're going to pull. Pull our friends to the middle, see if we can pull them. Oh, Stephen's so strong. Oh, I'm getting nearer and nearer to the bad spot. Don't give up, partners. Oh, Yay. so Stephen won. High five, Stephen. Well done. But okay, so you're going to need quite a lot of room for that, okay? Um, so that might be quite a fun exercise to try and do in your garden or somewhere like that. All right, so the next one we're going to do is where you need your objects for. So what's going to happen is I'm going to stand here. I'm just going to empty my objects, okay? And Stephen's going to come and hold the bucket for me, okay? So Stephen's going to stand here on the diagonal so that you guys can see. All right, now I've just emptied my objects here and all I'm going to do is try and throw my object into the bucket, okay? So here we go. Wish me luck, pandas. Oh, never mind. Try again. Yay. And yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this now. And so I've got two more left. What do you think, pandas? Do you think I can do both? Here we go. Last one. Yay. Well done, me. Okay, so then it will be your partner's turn, okay? So then you'll hold the bucket or the wash basket or whatever you've got for your partner. Now, now that all of them are hopefully in there, okay? I'll pick this one up that I didn't manage to get in. We're going to put it at one end of the room and we're going to stand at our pan spot at the other end of the room. And Stephen is going to count and see how long it takes me to get all of the objects out of the bucket back to my panda spot. One at a time though, okay? One at a time. So if you are older, then obviously you can maybe have more objects and you can maybe move your bucket further away for the throwing and further away for the running, okay? If you're a bit older to give yourself a challenge. So Stephen's going to count loudly so that you can hear and see how long it takes me to get those objects back to my panda spot. Are you ready, Stephen? If you can shout go for me. Go. <gasps> One, two, One. three, four, five, six, seven, two. eight, oh, nine, quick. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23? Cool, I need to get a bit fitter, don't I? So then it would be your partner's turn and you could count for your partner. Okay. So I'm going to put all of my objects back in here. All right. And you can do that over and over again, okay? and help each other out to count and see how long it takes you and see if you can get quicker. All right, pandas, so that's it for today. Hope you have fun working with your partner. Keep safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Let's have a bow. One hand up, one hand into a fist. We bow. Okay. Bye, pandas. <laughs>